Hi everybody, Papa John here from our Kentucky home. <clears throat> Sunday evening, early evening, I'm out here with my boys. There's Dozer uh, and Keno, he's right here. Hi buddy. Um, I want to tell you about our day today um, and our night last night. It was um, event filled to say the least, we, uh, we, Dozer, where are you going, buddy? Last night, about 10 o'clock, Ivanka and I were sitting in the house and Dozer started barking. And a few minutes later, something biting me, biting flies, I guess. A couple minutes later, Kino started barking. And Kino is not a barker. He does not bark much at all. And um, and right after Kino started barking, we heard we heard one of our little dogs. What we thought was our little dogs out here with them barking and fighting, yipping with them. And I asked Ivanka, I said, which one of the little dogs? She said, oh, it must be a neighbor's dog. And then it dawned on me that it, it was a coyote. And actually from the yipping, it was probably more than one. And the boys were really upset. And within 30 seconds, I, uh, I grabbed the big black scary thing <laughs> and ran outside and I didn't see it anywhere, but I come out here for a few minutes and they were standing over at the back of the run over by where the power lines go down and they were barking up a storm. And I went on back in the house and we got ready for bed and I went to bed and about, um, I guess it was about 2.40 this morning. I woke up, Ivanka had gotten up and uh, the coyotes were back and the boys were barking again, really noisy, real loud. So I had, by then I had had enough of it and uh, I grabbed the big black scary thing and I come out and I emptied a whole magazine into the edge of the woods over here and um, and the boys quieted down and everything got quiet and I went back in the house and um, everything went quiet. I got up this morning, Ivanka had gotten up a little bit before me, we were get, get ready for church and I got up and was getting ready and I came up to feed the boys while well, Kino was out lay here laying next to the run and uh, Dozer was nowhere to be found. Well, I found a spot over here in the fence where they had, had gotten out and Dozer was nowhere to be found and I was a little worried that um, that he had tangled dozer is definitely more the aggressive dog and protector here and i was worried that he they're they're really really tired right now aren't you boys mama's mama's getting you some water mama's getting some water she's watering right now um anyways he's the real aggressive one so i figured you know how coyotes are and we live here in the woods um, I was, I was pretty positive that he went out and tangled with a coyote and didn't come back. Well, um, I put Kino back in the kennel run here and, um, we were getting ready for church and I was worried and Ivanka was worried and she said she was scared that Dozer might be out here injured. 
And so I was in the house and she said, John, I think I heard Dozer yipping over in the woods. So I, um, at that point I just changed my clothes. The ticks are really bad here. So I changed my clothes and started to spray my self down with stuff and she said John I heard him again so I just grabbed a sidearm and a rifle I didn't know what I'd find out here in the woods you know and took Ruby and we set out into the woods kind of in the area where she was talking about we walked around there for about an hour and Ivanka went on to church and I couldn't find him so we Ruby got real hot. I brought her back to get her some water. And um, I was sitting here on the porch trying to listen to see if I could hear him bark, and I never did. I heard the neighbor's dog up on the mountain bark a couple times, and I thought, hmm. So I went on up there, nothing. Looked all around, come back, walked up on the mountain this way and um nothing looked all around went down below listening and and never did never did see nothing hear nothing and uh, yamanka got home from church and her mom had made a supper and by then i was way overheated and hot and i needed to eat because i hadn't eaten anything we ran over there and her uh her mom had supper for us and we were kind of talking about it and Savannah the daughter and her husband Rodney were there and they decided that they were going to come back over and help me look for Dozer and so backing up just a little bit after Ruby and I had come back I decided I was going to let Kino out and take him and Ruby back out in the woods and see if we could find Dozer. Well, we got, I let him out. He followed me and Ruby down beside the house and we went around the corner, Ruby and I did, and I went, I was going to get a water bottle and um, grab personal protection device take with me out here in these woods there's all kinds of fun stuff out there um and uh i no more than got around the corner and kino wasn't there and i went back around he was gone gone just that quick um i went around the other side of the house and come up the hill and i thought i seen him on the back corner going towards uh the road back here or it's a it's an old logging trail back behind us here and i thought i seen him going that way but wasn't positive um and i called him and looked for him looked for him and couldn't find him ivanka got home i had been up on the mountain i'd been all over the place and now both of the boys were gone so we went and had dinner came back Rodney and Savannah met us back here and we we split up in threes worked up and down the mountain and started walking down the edge of the mountain and we went probably a mile back in there and came back and uh, uh, we were most of the way back and I heard well excuse me just before we started heading back, Yvonka texted me and said that Kino was home, that he had come home. And we, so we, we knew we was far enough, so we turned around and started heading back. And when we got about, I don't know, most of the way back, um, I heard what I thought Keno, I thought it was Kino barking or it sounded like Kino and Ruby or Kino and Ivy maybe barking. 
and we stopped, uh, Rodney and I were together walking back down a logging trail when we heard the barking and I told, I told Rodney, let's hold on right here a second. And I called Yvonka and I said, are our dogs barking? Because it was right towards the house where we heard it. And she said, no, they're all in the house. So I said, okay, well, we got to go. I said, because there's a dog barking. It sounds like it's coming from the house. And I knew we weren't too far. We got another 15, 20 yards up that trail. And there was a great big spot where some sort of ruckus or fight had happened. All the leaves were gone and all rustled up. And we were standing there looking at it. And Rodney just happened to look to the left and he said, is that him? And all you could see is a little spot of white. There's my boy. <laughs> all you could see is a little spot of white sticking out from behind a tree. It was, he was kind of down in a dip. And um, we uh, started walking up that way. And I got a little worried because all I could see was just a tiny little bit of white. And it was down on the ground. Well, Rodney went one angle up the hill and I went the other. And we about the same time we could make out that it was him. And I was worried because he wasn't moving or anything like that. And just then I, I kind of got a glimpse around the tree as I was coming up the hill. And he peeked his head around and looked at me. But he wasn't moving at all. But I was so thankful that we found him. And, and he was sitting upright. He had been out since about 5.50 in the morning because we had him on camera at 5.50. And then, then he was gone. And this was getting up. Uh, we found him a little after 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And it's been about 90 degrees here today. So we were worried. And um, when we got to him, um, and I'll, I'll include some pictures, but apparently he was chasing the coyotes and or coming back maybe from a ruckus with coyotes. And he managed to find a barbed wire fence that was kind of low to the ground and, and it had been broken down from trees and stuff. And he was completely tangled, his back leg and his tail was wrapped up in about six, six revolutions, well, I guess where he got caught and then was going round and round and literally had his tail turned completely in a circle and uh, he literally couldn't move but it was the best outcome uh, that we could have had because we were really worried that the coyotes ganged up on him and because you know they are just young boys they're only about eight months old and but Dozer he thinks he's you know he thinks he's 150 pounds which he's not yet he looks like it but he's not yet and he is a protector and we're very thankful because there's you know those coyotes they're around here constantly but they were right up here in the yard um egging on the boys last night and but um so as you can imagine i'm plumb wore out from hiking around in the woods and i finally got myself deticked uh, i was covered with ticks but um, I wasn't planning on doing a video today, but uh, I, just, I just wanted to share this with you. And, and I was thinking about it while I was out searching for him. I should have grabbed my camera and, and took it with us, but uh, I wasn't in a video making mood. I wanted to find our boy. I was, we were both, Yvonne and I were both worried to death and, and Rodney and Savannah were really worried. And, and we were so thankful that they came over because honestly, I would have walked right by him and I probably walked by him twice this morning within 50 yards and he didn't make any noise. And um, if Rodney wouldn't have been with me, I probably wouldn't, would have walked right by him again had he not barked. We, I would have never known he was there. So I'm very thankful that uh, Rodney came over and, and Savannah came over and helped and 
but uh, I just wanted to share what our uh, the last 16, 18 hours or so have been like, and and our boys, you can see, uh, Dozer, Dozer's very sleepy. Let me turn this around here. He <laughs> he he has not moved much, and uh, oh, there's my lovely wife, and Kino. He's he's <laughs> Kino's just tired too. He was. Uh, um, what happened is we walked right by him and Kino was over there with them because we found a spot right next to where Dozer was at um, that was all cleared off where Kino had been sitting there with him um, most of the day. And uh, I just wish earlier in the day when he took off I could have kept up with him. But um, anyways, um, that's what we've been doing. So until next time. From our Kentucky home, keep a close eye on your livestock guardian dog, especially when they're young. They think they're all muscle and brawn, but um, it's Papa John saying hit the like button, share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh oh, who's making all the noise? They're saying, yeah. And they're saying, yeah, Dozer's back, our savior. Um, so, God bless.